Greetings, my fellow Tarnished. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Elden Ring. Here we are, in Skadu Altus, standing before the Morth Ruins. Yeah, the Morth Ruins. We've uh, changed up our drip, decided to go with this. I think it looks pretty badass. Um, yeah, we're still using Milady. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. Really cool sword. And uh, we're going to explore the Morth Ruins today. So, uh, drop this video a like if you are enjoying this series. Uh, I will note this is the third episode I am recording today. Although, one of them was only half of an episode. So, any of the comments from the uh, Twin Moon Night and onward, I have not yet read. Because it is not yet released. Because all of that was recorded today. So, uh, we're continuing on. Because I feel like playing further and there's not much else I can do. My Ow! What did you even hit me with? Oh, wow. Alright, we're getting... These horn scent. I'm about to die. A little bit more aggressive than uh, they used to be. So, uh, let's heal up. I got another heal, so. I guess we gotta, we gotta take him out. Red Flesh Mushroom. Very nice. I thought that was somewhere else, though. Okay, now, like, they're not that aggressive. Sorry, sheep. Wrong place, wrong time. Cool area. Otherwise, this looks a bit dangerous. We're going in. Nice. Really glad I took out one of those dogs at least. Now I'm stuck on something. Fucking lock on. I. Oh man. Bro, game, game. Come on. This weapon is really good, it's just not good against groups. It is a, uh... It, it's power attack is alright, but... Uh, it's power attack's pretty good, actually. Okay, never mind. It has its, uh, applications against larger groups. This is just how you gotta do it. Wanted to clear the area to get a flask back, so they all had to die. Besides, I think they're already dead, so I don't need to feel too bad about it. Oh, the dog. No, it's not a dog. It's a person. There is a dog here, though. There it is. Item up there. And a dude right here. I'm massacring them partly because then they're out of my way and I don't need to worry about them. Come on. Oh my god. And, uh, partly because they're worth quite a few runes. What is this? Oh, it's just a rune skull. Interesting. It was broken. It looked a little different than normal. Uh, hi. I could be equipping... Probably should have done this earlier, but... Yeah, we don't need this right now. I'm not summoning, so... We'll equip this. The scarab. So, how did we grab... Where was the item? There. And there's something behind it. 
Also, we're getting chased by a dog again. Shadow Realm Rune 3. Unfortunate. Okay, so this... Oh, this goes down. Awesome. Was wondering when we'd finally find a way down. This might be it. Then it's going to be a matter of do we continue exploring Skadu Altus or actually head down. Okay, so that cool thing that I saw here was just a <laughs> colossal blood splatter. <laughs> Classic. Um, we're going to explore the rest of this area, I think. There's a little bit more to do here, and there seems to be a path that leads somewhere. Looks like a, an ever jail over there. Very cool. But yeah, this this rift that leads down. We can explore all that later. I mean, we're here. We've cleared this place out, so we may as well make use of it, right? So we can't jump to here. We sure can. Perfect. We can grab this. Okay, I was expecting an ambush from this door. Hopefully we don't encounter any of those horned warriors. Those were an absolute nightmare. We're slightly tougher than a normal dog. Mushrooms. Nope, okay. Hmm. I do like these little uh, side caves and all that. It's very cool. So we can go that way. We can go up here. We'll just drop us back to where we were. Alright, then out here we go. In two potential directions. I think this just is to here. Plus, yeah. And then we'll go through here. And see what we can find. We can survive this. Once again, two more directions. We're not coming back from this. We're going to explore the other way first. This is cool, by the way. Interesting that we can still be mounted down here. Like, this isn't a dungeon. This is just... A place. Actually... No, none of these walls look suspicious. Yeah, I really... I don't know if there are illusory doors in this DLC. We found exactly zero of them. And I've been relatively thorough. Of course, I might have missed one, but... That might be something that, uh... Is back in the... Location... In Bellarat Tower City, the storeroom. Which I still need to go and check. But I'm waiting for a time where I can kind of go and do that without breaking up what I'm currently doing. Oh boy. What are you? They're enemies. We've seen these before, actually. There was a group of them patrolling the gravesite plains. These are actual living horn scent. They look really cool. And yeah, they've got some sort of uh, cool candle incantations. Like, they, they look fucking awesome. Now they're dead. What were you praying to? Sorcery of the Inquisitors of the Tower, wielded as an incantation of the Spiral. A swing of the arm raises a procession of golden arcs, charging enhances potency. These arcs resemble barbs. A known symbol of coercive questioning. Okay. 
So the horn scent had their own inquisitors. It's kind of like what Leta said. You know, it, it's not like, oops. It's not like the horn scent are a pure and innocent civilization. It's just they happen to be on the wrong side of this conquest because they were conquerors themselves and did some questionable things like, you know, having an inquisition. Now, what's interesting is that their incantations are golden as well. Of course, that's probably related to the Scatter Tree. So there's clearly an antagonism between the Erd Tree and the Scatter Tree. Both are capable of bestowing grace. Both are capable of doing something with life and death. And uh, this may come as a surprise, but both are trees. Hmm. Up the well, huh? So is that... Like, if that was the only reason we came down here, that'd be that'd be fine. This might That might just be it. Cool little uh, subterranean section underneath the, uh, the ruins here. Which I would be okay with. This is a long ladder, so I think we are indeed going back to the surface. This is a entirely new location, so color me wrong. That might have been the only thing we got down there, but we've certainly found something else by going through there. Bonnie Village. This place looks cool. I love that. These things hanging down from wires. These jars. I'm a little more creeped out by the jars now, but doesn't mean it doesn't look cool. Um, ooh, do I want to explore the Bonnie Village now, or do I want to quickly go back and, yeah, I'm going to actually go back to Bellarat and check the storeroom. So, after quickly looking back, I uh, found the comment that uh, directed me back to this place, the storeroom. Uh, so thank you to uh, Synergy for uh, pointing it out. So apparently we need to look through here and look for something that will impress the Grandam to talk to us, because otherwise she doesn't talk to us. She just makes... Ah! Makes sense. Hi! Oh, Jesus. Oh. oh, such a joy to smell the scent again. Does a sculpted keeper stand before me? Oh! As I felt the sacred beast's essence fade, mm. a great anxiety welled up within. Forgive this old woman her foolish fears. Tis such relief I cannot express. After an eternity of the mind, her voices have at last reached the heavens. Like? As evinced by thy gracious arrival. Hmm. Oh. 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 So it's clear they hold the lion dancers in very, very high regard. I implore, vessel of the sacred beast. The vessel of the sacred beast. Have beast. my son accompany thee to war and dance thy dance of beauteous color. <laughs> Take vengeance upon Mesmerite's lot. They who betrayed us, I, mm. they who burned us, let them face in thy wrath their just deserts. <laughs> My song will I sing in service to thee. Watchful spirit. So interesting that she said betrayal. Kind of implying that there was some sort of accord between Mesmer and the Horn Scent originally. Dead beast from higher sphere delivered. We beg of thee to dance and cavort. Dance and cavort. Cleanse all that thou wilt. Cruelty, woe, and those who plague the tower. Cleanse away the strumpet's vile progeny. This is what she said. So this was her speaking when the uh, when we fought the dancing beast. An entreaty received from the Empyrean. Dead beast from higher sphere delivered. We beg of thee to dance and cavort. 
Hold on. An entreaty received from the Empyrean Grandam? Are you telling me she's an Empyrean? Summon a guardian spirit above the caster's head. The spirit never strays far from the caster, conjuring several apparitions before dissipating. Take vengeance upon Mesmer and his lot. They who betrayed us, I. They who burned us. Let them face in thy wrath their just deserts. Thy collar into the most resplendent of dances. My song will I sing. Okay, she said that already. Uh, I'm gonna go outside before I take this off. I'm not sure if this is the end of uh, the quest for her. Um, but that's. Am I reading that right? Is she an Empyrean? Don't answer that. Um, this is rhetorical. But that's fucking wild. So yeah, let's uh let's proceed onwards. We're at the Bonnie Village here. Yeah, that's uh also the betrayal I find interesting. Okay. So first thing we can summon here, which is interesting. I did switch up some gear, by the way. And remember how in the... Not the previous episode, but the one before? Or maybe it was the previous episode. I was like, boy, it'd be real nice if you could prevent an enemy from using flasks to heal. Well, as it turns out, you can't. This is the Albinoric pot. So I made a couple of those, just in case we find another uh, invader or uh, enemy like that. Because we do seem to get invaded quite a lot. Okay, somebody crying. It better not be fucking horrible jar things. Or hands. Could still be hands. I don't think there's an association between the jars and the hands, but you never know. Oh, it's just these guys. Okay. Ah! Jerk. Grab that, whatever it is. It's probably just a... Eh, it's a not resin, alright. It's not too bad. What are you? You are... Greater Potentate. Okay, so the jars have a thing with Potentates. And this is apparently a Greater Potentate. What is that? I don't know. I'm gonna shoot it with a Toxic Arrow. I'm gonna shoot it with another Toxic Arrow. Okay, he's gonna dodge that. Alright. Uh, let's equip this and be ready. So, we fought somebody like you before, the Tarnished Eater, Anastasia. Okay, let's pull back. He's probably gonna flask. I don't know, maybe he doesn't have one, actually, but he's, he's on to me. Would like to get a heal up. No, no sharpening. Not for you. Ooh! Alright, well, we got each other there, but I got you better. Okay, they're dead. Alright. So he didn't even drop anything. Massacre these uh, horn scent ghosts. Hefty crack pot, very nice. Okay, lock on, please, for the love of. Why am I doing this? 
flat three charges. Hopefully. That doesn't actually seem to be giving me any flask recharges. Also, I need to get up here, and they're gonna bother me if uh, we do that. I did uh, switch the Ash of War here to Bloodhound Step. Though, I don't know. I'll probably switch it back. I wanted to fiddle around with it. You're a gold eye. I think it's a cool ability, but it is quite overused by people. Because it's very good. So, we shall see. For now, I have it equipped, but I'll probably switch it back to uh, the Blood Blade or something. At the very least, it's still uh, the sword still has the Blood Affinity, because bleeds are just good. We haven't encountered any, like, actual mobile jars. Oh, hi, what are you? You're just a regular one, right? Interesting that we've only found the big ones, the big horn scent, in uh, Bellarat. I've never seen one of them outside of Bellarat. Okay, I'm gonna mount up, and uh, we're just gonna quickly ride through here. Oh, there's another one. I want to quickly ride through here just to see if there's any other loot around that I may have missed. Don't think so. I think we pretty adequately cleared this place. Very, uh, dark. Mm. Foggy down here. Kind of reminds me of the Foggy Rift. I wonder... No, this is really far away from that, so... We're definitely in between some, uh... It's not really a proper valley, because this just leads out to there. Sort of. Yeah, we're already here. So, then there's the matter of the bridge. And there's the matter of this other part. Hi. That's a gap. Can we jump that? Absolutely. However, we can also drop down here. What do we got? Dog, dog, dog. No. Are they all? Yeah, they are all dogs. Okay. Well, um... So that didn't do quite as much as I would have liked. I mean, it did a lot, to be sure. But let's, uh... <clears throat> actually, I can just shoot them with the bow. Okay. We'll leave one. That I can deal with. Oh yeah, living jar shards. So these must have been jar poachers, would be my guess. We know that is a thing from uh, the Hoslo quest. Two rune skulls right next to each other. That's unusual. What do we got? Another dog. Big dog. And, ah, it's a Shadow Blessing. Revered Spirit Ash. Lovely. Okay. Alright. I think we can mount up and leave this little gully here. Gorge, chasm, more of a gorge. We have to go all the way out to get out. I reckon that would be the case. We have ourselves another dog. Let's get rid of it. 
Alright. So, then we exit on this side, that's perfect. It's the next place to investigate regardless. What are we here? Some Marotta fruits. Um, let's dismount. We'll take a slower and more methodical approach through things. Uh, hi. Uh oh. Alright, none of that. Who are you? You're another um, potentate, right? And some horn scent with uh, ranged weapons. One with a ranged weapon. Alright, yeah, another greater potentate. I. Why would there be multiple greater potentates? Or are you the same one? You don't stagger very easily. use a flask right there immediately, but probably should have. Would have been the safer approach. But we're still alive. Fuck this card. Another one. Alright, I don't want to fight you and a bunch of uh, horn scent that are going to throw shit at me, so let's go over here. And, uh... Where are you at? You're up there? You're gonna dodge that. Okay. Most unfortunate. Will you dodge this? <laughs> yes. You, though. No, 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 no. None of this lock-on funny business. He's just... He really wants to sharpen his sword. That's really all he's into. one down. How many of these do we have to kill? Honestly. Okay. The bridge will lead further. But there's something out here. And we have ourselves a, uh, a purple item. What's this going to be? Another hefty crack pot. All right. I'll take it. For some reason, the lighting on these, uh, whatever they are, looks kind of funny. Okay, that looked like a very weird looking dog for a second, but it's just the branch of a tree, presumably. I mean, I don't know. Might be a gigantic, very strange looking snaky dog. That'd be horrifying. Frolicking through the woods. What? This is like Igle. The skin of the god devouring serpent. What is going on here? Like, there's so much of the Lands Between that is being replicated in this place. Just a giant serpent. A cast-off uh, serpent shell. 
shell of skin. <laughs> skin is kind of like a shell, if you really think about it. Um, it's this. Doesn't it look like it's a bent over strange creature? Honestly, this tree is actually giving me a little bit of creeps. Just because of its isolated positioning and the way how it looks like it's reaching for something. I'm clicking to see if I can lock on to it. Uh, what are you? Oh, mother. What? Um, excuse me. Okay. What's the worst that'll happen? Nothing as of yet. I am very creeped out. I don't know why. Just like sometimes you get these moments where the atmosphere goes real fucking sinister. Something just died. I think it was one of the squirrels just decided to uh, relieve itself of its mortal coil. What is going on down there? That I want to see. Whatever it might be. That is a grave bird. There, there's another one that just looks... Th these trees are really creepy looking. Like, that one also looks like something. Right? Like, it's arms outstretched. Well done to the uh, developers for making an environment feel... unsettling. This place is just strange, though. Like, I feel like we're missing something in the Bonnie Village. But... I feel like we also cleared it, so... Then again, I'm hearing something. Yeah, like, the sound of s bones snapping. The fuck is going on? Okay, it's just one of you guys. There you are. Alright, never mind, it's not bones snapping, it's... Reaching into your bag full of rocks. Or bones. Might be bones. I'm gonna get ourselves a, uh, a flask back, so I guess that's all of it. And here there was nothing further, right? No. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't know. Um, so that's a place we can go. We've got two potential rope bridges. I'm gonna actually take this one first. Formation. Everything here looks fucking unsettling, and I hear something. What do I hear? Is there something on the wall? It looks like fingers. <laughs> oh, but that would be ridiculous because this game has nothing to do with fingers. Okay, if that deer was just going to be sitting there staring at something, along with all the birds in a line, I would have been even more freaked out. I'm dismounting. Why is this place setting me this much on edge? What is going on here? What is... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Didn't even see that one. Oh boy, they're everywhere. Oh, I, oh, I, I, I hate it, but I love it. Um, and I've had this type of experience in real life. Where you're like, you see something, and you recognize it as something dangerous, and then you start to see it everywhere, because it's well hidden. I had that with uh, scorpion fish when I was uh, in Corsica. Like, they're, they're super well blended in on the rocks and everything. Just blend in with the uh, the rocks themselves and the the algae on the rocks. But as soon as you see the pattern, all of a sudden you start to realize, oh, that's a scorpion fish. That's a scorpion fish. That's one too. And they're just fucking everywhere. And it's... It is an unnerving experience to say the least. And this just did that <laughs> very well. Because I was looking directly in this direction and didn't see either of these two. Then I saw that one. Then all of a sudden, these two stand out a little bit more. <sighs> Alright, well this explains what was creeping me out. I don't know, I must have... I must have registered it still, like on a subconscious level as I was coming here. Because I, I started to get really creeped out as soon as I crossed this uh, bridge and started to come in through here. Um, so, oh man, well done. Well done. Fuck you, Miyazaki. <laughs> okay, what's the, the better bet? No. Like, they're really not that bad, these things. They're just... Ugh. I don't like what it looks like. Okay, alright. Just... Ah, no, no, no. Okay, we're going, going on the horse yak thing, and I'm going to cross the bridge. And I'll tell you what. I don't know if you can fight me here. Oh, they're gonna run away. Perfect. One at a time? Okay, they're getting a little closer than I would like. How much damage does that do? Not very much. It does build up poison. But I'm gonna get rid of this one. And I'm just gonna tank this. Alright, down he goes. I mean, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna shoot the other one too. I don't want to get anywhere near it. I have an aversion to your kind. I'm very sorry. Okay. Oh, you're a lot tougher than the others. Why is that the case? <laughs> it's not that much tougher. Oh god. Oh god. It's 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 hairy. <laughs> oh, this was this is a moment that I'm gonna remember. <laughs> I'm gonna look back on fondly. I love being creeped out. I generally don't like to play horror games because I. I if it's a horror game, you know you're going to get creeped out. But in games like this, which aren't expressly horror games, then it creeps up on you, and you don't necessarily know when it's going to happen. Or where. And that's... That's exciting to me. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that much at all. God, this place. What are all these deer doing here? Like, were they, you living in... Cheerful symbiosis with the giant spider scorpions? You telling me those things were, like, vegetarian? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna... Looking at those fangs, I'm gonna call a little bit of bullshit on you there, dear. Why are you all alive? And so calm. Oh, boy. A cave near the spider scorpion place. Bonnie Jail. Oh, good. Fucking delightful. Could also be jars. Which is also delightful. Or you could get the best of both worlds and have jar innards and spider scorpions together in the same area. Why, Miyazaki? I don't know how much this gives. This is probably overkill, for sure. But hey, I'll at least be able to spend some runes. So, 
Uh, more dexterity. 55? Sounds good to me. I'm gonna go proper dex arcane rather than full arcane. Because these, uh, these light great swords are way too cool. Okay, it's a, it's a jar jail. That doesn't mean there aren't spider scorpions. Doesn't mean there isn't one that's about to pounce on me. It's probably underneath here. That would be my guess. Hanging on the side. It's just gonna jump right on up. I hear movement, but that's just just the innards, no problem. It's fine. <laughs> Why do you exist? Yeah. We're gonna do a range battle, but since your ranged attacks are slower than mine, I'm just gonna kill you from here. Because screw you. So that's a potential way to jump down there. No spider scorpions yet. So, if I were Miyazaki, I would hold on to the spider scorpions. Let you go through a significant portion of this cave before reintroducing them so that you, uh, you let your guard down. One could come crawling through that hole. That's a possibility. You? You are target. Frozen maggots. Okay, I'm just gonna... Hold on, this this looks like a sketchy wall. Also, I missed something here. What did it say? Ah, frozen maggots. Of course, right, they, you just picked them up off the ground. I, I'm really, like, just... Trying to see if there's more than just jars in here that we need to worry about. Feel a little better with the shield. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wow. This door is so cool. <laughs> That's not gonna open from. That's like twice in a row. That is highly unlikely. Nice attempt at a jump scare, but I'm not currently worried about you guys. Give me all those frozen maggots. Okay. Oh. Okay, well. Do a bit of platforming. Boy, do I sure love platforming. In FromSoft games. Oh. It's actually just gonna let us down. That's awfully nice. It might even let us back up. How far down did that go? Why are you like this? Yeah, you go over there. Bye. If you had loot, I'm not interested. Yeah, that was to be expected. Ah, I hate it. Oh, I backstabbed it. That's cool. Okay. More hefty crack pots. We got quite a few of these now. Let's uh, let's make a few. How many? Got seven of them. We're gonna fucking use them. Just keep those ready. These are uh, these are awesome. <laughs> so, like, where do we go from here? Get blocked. That looked real sus. Oh. Would there be a reason? No. It would be cool if they put a illusory wall up on top of a pot like that. Well hidden. Okay, so I'm missing something here. Must be. Because there's no other way to go. But I feel like I'm not missing anything here. Hmm. 
I don't know what to do. Can I shoot that to have it come down? That's a, that's a nut, dog. Um. Oh! Oh. Clever. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a thing. Okay. So, then it's the garbage chute. Fantastic. I'm overjoyed. Here you can tell from my... demeanor. Cleo, down into the garbage chute. I don't see anything. Doesn't mean there isn't anything. That doesn't help. Okay, we're in a more natural cave. Could be good, could be bad. What this probably means is scorpions. It's also fucking skeletons everywhere. Okay, we got oozes on the ceiling, that's fine. Got a lot of oozes on the ceiling. Um, do I just okay? So here, here's the here's the problem. There's enough oozes on the ceiling that I need to sprint through here, but I don't know what's behind any of these fucking walls or corners. So we can do it cautiously. We'll trigger them all to fall. Yeah, that's probably the best bet. Then uh, proceed to ignore them. Christ. Alright. <laughs> what <a> fucking rune? <laughs> Fuck you, Miyazaki. <laughs> uh, the lowest tier one at that. Classic. <laughs> okay, no, hold on. There's, there's, there's another passage. <laughs> <laughs> I would have accepted that, though. Is this where we came from, or is this a different way? Now I'm not so sure. Okay, this is where we just were. This does nothing. Alright, what do we got here? Invigorating cured meat. And a trip that we're not coming back from, so... Um... I'm going to explore the other side first. Now that all the oozes are down on the ground. Thankfully they aren't particularly fast, so... Glad we don't have, like, speed oozes. That would be... Unfortunate. So, there's that way. And that rock shimmered in a weird way, so I expected... Maybe it's going to be a, uh... Illusory wall. Oh. Give me your fucking rune arcs. This is a robbery. God damn it. Little shits. Not a rune arc to be found. Alright, more rats. Yep. Oh, joy. Rat mama, too. Here. Uh oh. Um, can we not? Thank you! Now move, because uh, the baboos are coming in behind us. Or not. They're just being skittish and running around. Are you also living in symbiosis with spider scorpions? I would hope very much that the answer to that question is no. What? What's your deal? They're just running. They're, like, not interested in attacking me. It's very uncharacteristic. Skaven behavior. I mean, sorry. No such thing. Uh, Man-sized rats? Don't be ridiculous. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be accessible from the other side, then. Thought maybe that was a breakable. Hmm. In here? Who's on the ceiling? Spider scorpion? Hands? Oh. Here. Four smithing stones. Of the two variety. What a great and glorious find. 
thus far this uh this cave's really been been paying. We got ourselves a level one broken rune and some crappy smithing stones. Oh no. Yeah, I knew it. Milady's pretty good against these. Ooh. Ceremonial accoutrement worn by horn scent vastly raises robustness. Resistance to blood loss and frost. That might be useful here. Horns are sublime artifacts to horn scent, and their presence confirms the belief that they are a chosen people. Only the repeated sprouting of fresh horns can create a tangled horn, which is viewed as irrefutable symbol of primacy. Hold on. I actually want to look at that one more time. I thought it had, like, a face on it. So, where are we now? This is the hole. Can we open this gate? This is where we came in. Alright, so we don't need to worry about this. I can just drop back down and uh, we'll head down the other way because all that does is lead back. Not sure why we would want to go back. Unless this is all that's here. I... No, there's going to be a boss fight, right? It's a, it's a dungeon. All dungeons have boss fights. Which I find to be a little bit formulaic. Why does every dungeon need to have a boss fight? Some other... Like... Uh, I don't know. It's cool that they do, but... There are so many reused bosses that I feel like... Some of them could have just been cut and you just have a dungeon that... Ends with some sort of treasure. But I like my games to be as... Not formulaic, but as, as like, sensible as... You can, so. Okay, well, uh, there we go. Boss room? This would be a hell of a boss room. That would certainly change things up. I don't see any spider scorpions, so, although I didn't check the walls. What's that? Just architecture. Yeah. Look at all these bodies. Just been reduced to sludge. I think uh, the Red Herald's gonna need a bath after this. It's a jar. Um, ranged battle time. Because I don't know if you have friends. I'm just gonna assume you do. Do you bleed? I can't remember. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think you bleed or get poisoned. You coming? Okay, you come right on over here. Out away from that door. The sword and the shield? I, I'm, I'm digging it. Okay, it's not very good against them, I will say. The, the power attack's better. Thankfully, this weapon's power attack is fucking fast. Okay, so that one's gonna rupture. Because he's just sitting there. Or, or it's gonna activate and turn into a regular uh, attack jar. Okay. We don't seem to be able to uh, stagger the little ones with the sword. Okay, and you, what are you? I prefer not to be surprised, so I'm gonna shoot you with an arrow. Okay, you're just a big boy. That's all right, I can handle you. Oh, fuck. Adequately, if I do say so myself.
really dropping the uh, the solid loot here. They always hit me with that. <laughs> to maybe dodge or something. I don't know. You're going to activate. Indeed. Okay, that's fine. Oop, whoop. I'm glad I was on lower ground than you. Or that would have sucked. <laughs> Lost ashes. Alright. That yeah, makes sense you would find them here. This would be a place for such things. You're gonna jump down on me while I'm doing something else somewhere else, so. We're gonna we're gonna shoot this one. Okay, I see the little guys coming at me. Don't worry. That's not gonna work. You are the main threat here. And sword is very good against them. Okay, one down. Can we get up there? Uh, no. Not yet. Sure, we'll get there eventually. Hmm. More jars. Who would have thought? What's in the room? Spider scorpions? I'm, I'm not letting my guard down against spider scorpions. Just because we haven't seen them yet doesn't mean they aren't here. Same, same goes with the hands. We haven't seen a single hand in this DLC, and we've already passed through the place where there logically would be hands in the Carrion Manor, so... There probably aren't any, but I'm keeping my guard up. Oh yeah, that was a... That was a foolish mistake. Okay, that didn't do quite as much damage as I thought it would. And we have ourselves another one over there. I prefer to not draw that one's attention, so let's, uh... That is a very slow projectile. I'm shooting it at a distance because there's that one there and I don't want to accidentally get its attention. So now I'm going to shoot it. I think that'll be enough. You can come here? Uh, I don't know if you have friends, so... Okay, I'm just gonna assume not. Lovely. What were you hiding in there? Raw meat dumplings. You know what? Uh, those are those are good. Those are good. That is a... Uh, an emergency heal, if necessary. Wah! Hmm. Again? R2 on this weapon is really cool. The R1's also pretty cool. Most of the attacks on this weapon are awesome. Dude, these jails are wild. I love the openness of the dungeons. Silver horn tender. Ambushed from anywhere? Just just one cent ghosts. Uh oh. Ow. Stop throwing shit at me. No, oh, nice. Okay. A pathway down. Well, yes, but not a very good one. I had my shield up! So, okay. You can still get grabbed through a, uh, through a block. 
That is unfortunate. Third door in a row that opens. What is this? I refuse to believe Miyazaki had his hand in this game. Where are we now? Well, that's a way down, to be sure, but I think there might have been more over in that direction. Fuck that table. Um, yeah, yeah. Nothing in here, nothing in there. Nothing out here. No, okay. So I, I thought these may have been side passages, but they were just prison cells. Which does not interest me. I have no desire to go to prison, especially not in the Lands Between, or the Lands of Shadow, for that matter. So, are you going to bring me down? You're going to bring me down. Good. Good. Then I can jump onto here. Fantastic. That's our way back up, too. One of you is going to turn alive. There's our fog wall. So, I think we are close to the end. What a surprise. Who would have thought? I, I couldn't have guessed. I would like to poison the other one. But if you're going to keep getting in the way... Alright. Yeah, you can, you can come here. Here. You know what? Let's try this. Oh! Oh no, that's my poison doing that. Of course. Right. Looking around, seeing if there's any glowing items. You know, in the last cave, there was one that I don't think I could find. I may have accidentally grabbed it. But just... Because I, I went back and looked for it. And I couldn't find it anywhere. So, it may have just been something that I grabbed. But... That, that jail had some uh, secrets. This one seems to have less. Many ambushes, though. Attempted ambushes. They only got me once. It was one of these guys. <laughs> so. Nowhere to go below. Correct? Correct. Then into the fog wall it is. And please tell me there's a stake of Marika somewhere, because... Yes. Right in front of the fog wall. That is very nice. So, we can summon Depraved Perfumer Kerman. I don't know what uh, the cost for this one is, though. Under 24. I don't think I can actually summon him at the moment. Trisha, though. Trisha we can summon. Then we'll be out of FP. But, yeah. What, what are you going to do? Should have crapped up, too. Crusade Curseblade Labyrinth. Okay. Oh, it's dark. And I can't lock on to anything, so... Oh, hi. There you are. Oh, this is cool. Alright, so we have a boss version of one of these. Yeah, he takes a lot of damage. So this is just a, a high damage fight. Well, that was fast. That was very easy. The jail uh, bosses seem to be quite easy. Um, <laughs> and having a quick weapon made a difference, because these guys are a lot harder with the Moog Sword. Ashen remains in which spirit yet dwell. Uh, used to summon the spirit of Curseblade Mira. 
attacks immediately after being summoned. Cursed Blades appear to dance when they spin their shimmering circular blades. These ascetics who failed to become tutelary deities. What? They failed to become tutelary deities, were a scourge for those who attempted to invade the Hornsent homeland. Long ago, before the land was overshadowed by invasion, this scourge was shunned, and the Cursed Blades were imprisoned. It was during this confinement that Mira met Libirith, and upon her death, Libirith was plunged into a devastating darkness. Okay, so we just killed uh, Libirith. So, the tutelary deities of the Hornsent are the Dancing Lions. So these were basically, were training to become dancing lions, and they failed. Because they still do fight with this dancing style. It's just they're... It, it seems to be like within the Horn Scent Society, if you become one of the tutelary deities, and bond with one of the uh, the the sacred beasts to become one of the, the dancing lion troops, because again, it's two guys in a suit, right? The, the divine beasts. The divine beast dancing lions, I should say. Um, it's two guys in a suit. And I believe they were referred to as tutelary deities. Or perhaps the divine beast itself is a tutelary deity and the horn scent are just bonded with it. In which case, do people become divine beasts? Like the actual divine beasts, not the two guys in the suit. Obviously, those are people. Horn scent. Where's the, the lore that we had on that? Was it the, the head? The headpiece? May have been the headpiece. Let's quickly have a look. So this is interesting. Oop. Switch categories. Ritual headwear worn in the form of divine beast head used to perform the land dance, worn by the finest of the sculpted keepers. No. So these are called sculpted keepers, not tutelary deities. Alas, it no longer responds to the old woman's earnest prayer. Yeah, so there's even a connection here with the old woman. So this is the old woman that, uh, the Grand Am. Divine Invocation heights, heightens, um, the intensity of the storm. Okay, that doesn't tell us anything. Uh, I, I wish I knew what, what, what item that was that we had about the, the tutelaries. Might be one of the, uh, the spiral horns? Perhaps? A consumable? No. I do not know. But so I think the tutelary deities are then the divine beasts themselves. It's like Sarash, which uh, was bound to Godfrey. Um, which is interesting that the curse blades are omens, presumably, that or horn scent maybe even that attempted to become divine beasts. So it's almost like a regression, a regression of man seeking to become beast, as opposed to what we saw in Faramazula, which was beast becoming men. This is man becoming beast. This harkens back to uh, old school Warhammer fantasy. And in that time of darkness, man became beast, and beast became man. Collapse of the Chaos Gates, and the, uh, the awakening of the beast men. <laughs> Fucking cool lore. Uh, I love the beast men. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's everything here, unless... Unless we can open this and walk into these rocks. Not sure why you'd... Gate that off, but... Sure. For sure, sure. Uh, anyways, that, uh, that summon, we damn certain that we're gonna try that one out. But, we're gonna try that one out in the next episode, because I think I am done for today with this episode. Might record another one immediately. Uh, I, I still feel like I have some energy, some life in me, which is a rarity. Normally, I, uh, you know, degrade into a mummified corpse after, like, two recordings, but I might go, I might go one more. So, uh, but you'll see that in a couple of days from, uh, the release of this one. So, drop this video a like if you had enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one. Ash Herder out.